Like a Pro workshop is um, it's a weekend workshop, three days for people who work hands-on in either the erotic field, sexual healing, sensual healing. Um, also, we have people there who are massage therapists. Uh, we have people there sometimes who are talk therapists who will understand uh, the hands-on piece more. We have people there who aren't professionals at all sometimes. What I what these workshops focus on mostly is making your session safe, effective, and satisfying for both you and the client. In the workshops, we spend the first couple of days just on you as a practitioner, um, helping you notice what's true about yourself. What are your edges? What's easy for you? What's difficult for you? How does your body respond to you know different, very simple things we lead you through? Um, these are all clothed, by the way. We're not actually engaging in sexual activity during the workshop. Um, so by leading you through those experiences, you're noticing more about yourself. You know, what's easy for me, what's hard for me. And then the development and the insight that comes from that is a resource for you that what is for what you can offer people. This work, my work in sexual and sensual healing grew out of my own personal journey of the the personal growth that I undertook that was for me. I didn't have this profession in mind. I actually am a chiropractor by training. I have three kids who are grown now. Um, I had a very holistic healthcare practice using hands-on chiropractic, um, other sorts of modalities, body-mind integration modalities, somato-respiratory integration. Um, so and I taught peer counseling for years, so I had a very holistic background already. And then in my early 40s, I realized that, I, you know, I, my own sexual life is not what I would like it to be. So the first thing that I teach, and probably one of the most important things that I teach, is that your first job as a practitioner is to be aware of yourself. And you can be aware of yourself in a general sense of, you know, this is what I usually like, this is what my edges are. But you also need to be aware of yourself in the moment. What's my emotional tone right now? What's my body saying to me right now? What's my, what are my thoughts and doubts and questions right now? Because that's what you have as a resource for you. That's what you stand on when you can offer something to someone else. So we all have skill in tolerating touch that we don't want. So that's not a skill any of us need any more of. And we certainly don't need it in our bedrooms. People pay you to put your hands on them, you need to be in this class.